I am Max Payne. My wife and daughter were murdered. It had something to do with the designer drug V. I transferred from the NYPD to the DEA, went undercover to find their killers. I got too close. I was framed for murder. With nothing to lose, I went after the Mafia during the worst winter storm in the century. My first stop was Vinnie Gagnetti, a lowlife in the habit of taking his frustrations out on underage call girls. I left him bleeding in an alley after I'd gotten what I wanted out of him. I met Mona Sachs in a gothic nightclub, Ragnarok. She was a hired killer. We were after the same man, her sister's sadistic husband. I was drawn to her for all the wrong reasons. I made a deal with Vladimir Lem. The Russian was a smooth operator. He helped me get to the mob boss I was after, but I was in over my head. The government was involved. A mystery man called Alfred Woden told me the name of my real enemy, Nicole Horn. Woden and Horn were both members of a secret society, the Inner Circle. She was behind V, behind everything. While working for the DA, my wife had accidentally seen papers that incriminated Horn. Woden promised to take care of the charges against me if I took Horn out. Deputy Chief Jim Bravora of the NYPD was trailing me by the empty shell casings that I left behind. People gotcha. say he's still yeah. eating that Sign same up. damn sandwich to this day. Ops of my dead wife. Mona sided with me against Horn. She took a bullet for that. Her body disappeared behind closing elevator doors. I killed Horn. I gave myself up to the police. I had enough evidence against Woden to know that he'd keep his promise. I lied to myself that it was over. I was still alive. My loved ones were still dead. It wasn't over. Hey guys, welcome to the uh, highly anticipated and long awaited uh, let's play series of Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. It's highly anticipated, at, le at least for me anyway, because I've been... I know I've been waiting a while to get around to playing this game. And, uh, I've been looking forward to playing this game again. Uh, even though i played it like six or eight times, uh, especially recently, like the last year. This is another game I really like a lot. It's hard to pick between Max Payne 1 and 2 because there's a lot of things about the sequel that they've uh, greatly improved on. Besides like the in-game cutscenes which are not too, too great. And of course with uh, given that they had a higher budget for this game, they improved on a lot of things. Uh, not just the writing but also, you know, of course the in-game models, the graphic novel cutscenes, even the uh, level design. You know, all that stuff, which m makes this game great in its own right. Of course, um, instead of using developers themselves for the, at least the main characters of Max Payne, they hired actors to model for this game, so, since, you know, given that they, are, they already had like a higher budget and all that. Can't be able to, f to afford uh, actors to model instead of using themselves. But, um, some of the developers, like uh, the writer Sam Blake, they use themselves as models for like the TV characters and some of the um, and some of the TV shows that you can watch throughout the game, like uh, Address Unknown and uh, My Lords and Ladies and all that. Although I'm not gonna waste my time watching all those. Although they they are kind of relevant or kind of like almost related to not only Max Payne's past but also sort of like his current life and situation in uh, this game. What's cool about this is that after you beat the game, you can jump to uh, different chapters. So there's like three parts in this game and you can jump into any of these levels or chapters. So that's cool. I'm gonna go for hard boiled difficulty instead of dead on arrival. So in the last game, when you beat the game on dead on arrival, you're rewarded with a bonus level that you have to be and you're greeted with like a little behind the scenes easter egg easter egg but uh in this game if you beat this game on dead on arrival you're rewarded with a secret ending or an alternative ending depending on your 
on uh, which ending you like best for this game. Um, but I prefer the original ending, so we're going to stick with hard boiled difficulty for this game. edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. He's Stay. not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the read's clear. Allow me to present Max Payne. We're here. Deal Pain with my friends. Payne, you need to get out of there. We need to leave now. Sorry. Run! Run! Um, another thing improved on in this game is the, uh, the, the soundtrack, which is, uh, really, really awesome. I really like the soundtrack to this game. Uh, you don't have to take the painkillers in this level, uh, but I'll just do it anyway. But yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention that they greatly improved on is the uh, soundtrack and the variety of soundtracks in this game. Especially like in, for the, in the uh, graphic novel cutscenes and, and also the in-game cutscenes, which I, I mentioned the in-game cutscenes are not too great, but they're of its time, so it's not a big deal. Max, about what happened. I would fuck her. Max Payne! Drop your weapons! NYPD, freeze! What were you thinking? Back off, Payne. Max? Max, answer me, Max! Hello? Anyone there? Oh god, I'm hearing voices in my head. spot in my head. A bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it deny. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. Oh yeah, this game also uses the, uh, it's using a different engine, but it's not the 3D uh, Realms engine like the last game. They're using, uh, the Unreal 2 engine for this game, which, uh, you see a lot, especially like with the environments, like the boxes and everything, it's uh, physics based. So um, you'll be able to like find some items um, by like pushing off some boxes and you'll get like not only ammo but also uh, painkillers and all that, which is pretty cool. Is this the pain residence? Dr. Magdalena from 
ER. You can give away the bed you were holding for me. That detective we were waiting for was DOA. She's headed for the morgue. I'll deal with Bane. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD! Found him! Hey, fuck you, Gip Man. Whoa. <laughs> Um, there's also some Easter eggs that you can find uh, throughout the game, which I'll try to do my best to show you one of them. Or, not one of them, some of them that I know. Um, uh, excluding the uh, the TV shows, which I'm not going to waste time just like standing around, because they, they can be uh, pretty lengthy. Uh, but here, uh, this one's a little bit of an easter egg to, uh, Max Payne 1. As you see, it's a little bit... Yeah, it involves a dead wife and daughter and crying and all that. So, yeah. <laughs> told me that black man took me out of the city. The countryside was sickingly pretty. The sun setting. I can show you this one. Rain. Sparkling on grass, birds in the trees, children playing. Ah, the Pink Bird Mental Institute. Mira's men pretended to be hospital wardens. The flesh, the flesh. I think I died. I think I died. So that's uh, Sam Lake right there. <laughs> Mental patients. Diagnosis: paranoid schizophrenic. You are insane, psychotic. You have to eat plenty of pills to get better. They lied that I had killed my girlfriend. John Mira came to mock me in the bathroom mirror. <laughs> the flamingo was with him. Mira, are more fun than television. Mira claimed my girlfriend had turned evil. Joined him. She has died her hair. I smashed the mirror. I'd kill them all. Stay tuned as address unknown continues. Oh, hey Jim, have you uh, have you finished that uh, eating that sandwich yet? <laughs> You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Oh, my sandwich. Ugh. <coughs> oh, bullshit. Uh, how am I gonna finish eating my sandwich now? Blah. What the? What the? I. They were after me. It was my fault. It's always something. You can't run from your past. Oh, You'll fucking end up hell. running in circles until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Only the hole's grown deeper. Oh, 
She'd been dead from that explosion, but apparently not. <laughs> I had tried to run from it, edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. The fatal choice already made and it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Where are those extra units? Call the central. We need every available unit here now. I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed, a hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out, back to the job, the NYPD. Even there, the cops made cracks about my dead wife. It's mine. I'm on it. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. Jet 4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. So like the first game, uh, you can also find uh, secrets where you can get more uh, ammo and painkillers. So here's one here. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rearview mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. Stranded in the dark and violent night, Dick Justice, a lone, hard-boiled fugitive cop, framed for the murder of his wife, on a quest for vengeance through the criminal underworld in the city's heart of darkness. The rain was coming down like all the angels in heaven had decided to take a piss at the same time. <coughs> Subtle. And gross. <laughs> like angels pissing on your head. <laughs> Shit. Alright, that's enough of, uh, of uh, dick metaphors. 
Yeah, I I think I read uh, that um, Dick Justice was the original name that uh, the developers at Remedy went with before they uh, changed it to uh, Max Payne instead. <laughs> so, uh, we could have lived in a world where Dick Justice is a video game series, beloved by all, but uh, yeah, I, I prefer this one. <laughs> Here we have some uh, Ingram and the uh, Ingram ammo weapon earlier or early on. Um, just like in the first game, all your painkillers and weapons will be resetted after each part. Use all the weapons that you can to help. They'll help you out. And also, um, so you see the blue mark there. That's for uh, where. So for this one, well, I just set the controls differently because the controls are different compared to the first game. But I just changed it to where the controls are like the first game. And instead I have uh, the black button on my Xbox controller to uh, use a secondary uh, attack or what they call a secondary attack. And you can use this... Uh, to throw your Molotovs and grenades and all that, which is pretty good. So, another set of, uh, creates another set of uh, strategies to do. NYPD! Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer. It's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now. No, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains, and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, this is obviously a trap, so uh, I'm not just gonna waste time here. Ah! A cop! Get in here! Get in! Oop! Perps the skies didn't fool me. He was leading me into a trap. The perps were masquerading as cleaners. Yeah, so now we're gonna go old Charles Bronson on their asses again. <laughs> yeah, we got some grenades and painkillers here. I'm not a violent man by nature, but it pisses me off more than anything when they do that. It's an insult! That's what it is. We're trying to clean the place. They should have more sense than to bleed on the floor. <laughs> That's the ticket. We should find a way to kill them without spilling any blood. You know, gas them up, poison or something. Yeah, another cool thing that they added to the gameplay mechanic is that uh, when you do a shoot and dodge and you're while you're shooting, you can still lay on the floor instead of getting instantly, getting up back, or getting back up instantly like in the first game. Uh, but like if you stop shooting, then you'll get back up automatically. So that's another cool thing that they implemented. And um, also like, I think even whether you're in bullet time mode or not, every time you uh, shoot and kill an enemy, your hourglass will turn yellow. And while you're in uh, bullet time, that means uh, while the others, like while like the world and the enemies go slow, uh, you can go faster than uh, your enemies and all that, which is uh, kind of adds to the whole kind of I guess superpower effect or something like that. 
which in, uh, in this game, I, I'm not saying like uh, the hourglass thing is like Max Payne's superpower or some shit like that. It's just a game mechanic for fun. The guys get Jackie Brown in there taken care of, we're done. Okay, I'll round up the crew, make sure the cleanup's done. Hey! The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. Vodka. The answering machine had a message on it. You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beep. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Vlad here to be a gun in your gentle care. Ah, man can dream. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye out for trespassers. If anything happened to you, anything comes up, just whistle, and I'll be there. You have no new messages. Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait, the mob guys attacked us. I have no beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We we can. NYPD, drop them. Finish her. Oh God, no! Like all the bad things in my life. It started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him, don't let him... How long can it take? They're not supposed to cuddle with her. Afterwards, we need to wrap this up. Kaufman wants us to move. There! Come on. Finally. Hey! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. Max, 
go. Fuck. <laughs> God damn. You all right? I'm okay. Damn it. Hey, we're working together on this. Hey, I'd rather get run over than saved by you. All right. I was handling it. You got pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it, too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version, be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Vlad! Max! 911! Bad guys with big guns! They've got me pinned down on the entrance hall! Could use some help! Could use it now! I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call back up. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. <laughs> 